You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News. Good morning. Time now is 815. Breast cancer is most common, most common cancer in the United States and research recent research rather has shown promise to help women follow their post treatment recovery to uniquely monitor them for recurrence. Here with us uh, today, board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Vince Marin to help explain these findings. Dr. Marin, good morning and thank good you morning. for being here. My pleasure. We talk about breast cancer often. I know breast, um, you know, cancer awareness month is coming up in, in uh, I believe it's September, October, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, how common common is breast cancer today in, in 2015? Unfortunately, it's still very common. It's 240,000 new women will get diagnosed this year with invasive breast cancer. In addition, you'll get 60,000 addition women that are going to get diagnosed with non-invasive or in situ cancer. And currently, we've got about 3 million women in the United States battling disease. So it's very common. One in eight women over the course of their lifetime will get the disease. So when you think about your circle of the women all around you, moms, sisters, aunts, yep. uh, someone will get it. Very few people haven't been personally affected by the disease. So what is this new um, study, the new finding? What, what is this about, the recurrence? So basically recurrence happens and in somewhere between 7 to 25 percent of women, depending upon the stage of disease it's diagnosed. Okay. Most women are monitored for a, a total of five years after they've been diagnosed and treated to make sure they don't have a recurrence, which is the disease coming back. Okay. Two different types of recurrence. There's local, which happens where the actual cancer was, mm -hmm. whether it's the skin, residual breast tissue, the chest wall, or distant, which is maybe in the lymph nodes, brain, liver, bone, those types of things is where the disease can come back. The only way that we can normally find that is the disease has to grow to an extent that we can appreciate it, meaning okay feel it, see it on imaging, um, and then that requires normally, just because you have something there, we then have to prove it's cancer. It could be scar tissue, it could be something else. Mm -hmm. So normally that then requires a biopsy, a second surgical, surgical procedure, which also has problems with respect to complications. You could have a, you know, an infection, mm -hmm. a, a problem, an issue with the lung if it's sitting right in that particular area. So when that happens, that's what a recurrence is. So this new test that's come out is a simple blood test. Oh, it's a blood test now. You'll come into the office, they'll draw blood out, and they can check for circulating cancer cells. And they found it to be effective in 54 out of 55 women that they came through on the initial wow. studies. So what it does is it prevents women from having to go through all of these secondary treatment modalities. And the best part about it is that it detects this eight months before it was ever clinically evident on physical examination or imaging. That's amazing. That's yeah. a huge breakthrough. Right. And the reason we've had a lot of increased incidence of cancer is a problem, but then also the mortality or how frequently people are dying from this disease has gone down, and that's attributed to early detection awareness within the public and so this allows a whole nother level of us to get to the disease the specific cells and also finding out what it's susceptible for long before it's ever clinically detectable before i let you go so this blood test this new thing that's happening it's not to uh, like originally diagnose it it's for recurrence, recurrence. afterwards exactly okay. so it's not a screening examination okay. and it's not designed to prevent cancer but it does allow us to treat and also adjust treatment going forward meaning you can find because you have that cell you can test it for mutations and you can find out specifically what type of chemotherapeutic agent is going to be more effective okay. and it's going to be for us really the future of medicine the biggest problem mm -hmm it's not yet available in the United States. And these are, well, that being said, it's the future and what's coming. But at least it's a step. A hundred percent. And it's ways in which we're gonna target and hopefully at some point eradicate this disease in the United States. We hope so. Dr. Marin, thank you for being here. Always My good pleasure. to see you. All right, you. Chrissy, we'll get it over to you.